Even before the Hollywood debut, Oppenheimer's legacy is apparent all across our state, especially in the town he helped build, Los Alamos. Spencer Schott takes us to northern New Mexico as the Lanel historian explains how the lab ended up where it did. Los Alamos and the National Laboratory there are well-known parts of New Mexico today, but nearly 80 years ago, there was nothing here. Almost overnight, he was the director of a laboratory that had not come into existence yet. How do you build a laboratory? How do you recruit a staff? Am I the right person to take this job? It was really a very challenging time for Oppenheimer, and he had doubts about himself. When the Manhattan Project began back in the 1940s, Oppenheimer had a lot on his plate, from recruiting scientists to work on the project to finding a spot for the creation and testing of a nuclear bomb. When he was in college, Oppenheimer often stayed at a family cabin between Pecos and Santa Fe, so he started his search for land in northern New Mexico. When it came time to select a location for the uh, uh, for the weapons design laboratory. He, General Groves, other officials visited Hemet Springs first, decided that it was not as suitable a location as they were looking for, and so Oppenheimer suggested Los Alamos. Soon construction began and Los Alamos was built. Scientists were recruited from across the country and they moved their families to northern New Mexico. The Manhattan Project as a whole uh, employed 130,000 people simultaneously at its peak. Years of research led to this, the testing of Gadget at the Trinity site near White Sands, New Mexico. And the rest was history. Today, uh, I think that the laboratory itself, and this has been said by other historians, it is very much a part of Oppenheimer's legacy. Uh, there's about 16,000 people that work here today. We have more staff than we've ever had in our history. Today, the Los Alamos National Laboratory employs scientists leading research in various fields, but the heart of what the laboratory does is still weapons research. Today, the United States continues to maintain a nuclear deterrent, and at the laboratory, uh, the people that we have who work here are entrusted with uh, ensuring that the stockpile is safe, secure, and would be effective if ever called upon. In Los Alamos, Spencer Schott, KOB4.